And San Luis Obispo has recorded a record amount of rain from the latest round of storms swamping the Golden State. That's right, all that rain taking a tragic turn as a five-year-old boy was swept away by the floodwaters when the boy's mother had her car overtaken by the racing waters. Rescue teams are still searching for him. So far, all they found was his shoe. Joining us now for an update around the, the county is Rachel Dion, the emergency services correspondent for San Luis Obispo County Emergency Operations Center. Uh, we want to thank you so much for joining us here, Rachel, and talking to us about this very, very sad situation. Tell us a little bit more about the rainfall in the area. What have you seen so far and what challenges are still being present across the county? Yeah, Monday we got real, hit really hard with an atmospheric river. We were initially only expecting to be, see about three to five inches and we got six to upwards of 12 inches of rain in some areas within a 24 hour period. Um, so our county was hit really hard. We saw a lot of widespread flooding, of structure damage. Um, we had unfortunately two confirmed fatalities. Um, we have the five-year-old child, um, Kyle, who we're still searching for. Um, and we're still attempting to recover from the storm with all of the infrastructure damage that we experienced. So hard to think about, especially when we talk about the fatalities as well as the missing boy. Kyle, you mentioned him. So can you tell us, are there any updates about the boy and the rescue efforts? Um, the re rescue efforts are continuing today. Um, we have our sheriff's team, we have our um, urban search and rescue, our USAR team out there composed of first responders from many different agencies, and they're still diligently searching for him. Um, the search will continue tomorrow um, if needed as well. Um, so that's really one of our number one priorities is, is just trying to find him. Definitely understand that. And we also understand that there's been a ton of damage to the infrastructure in the area as well. What sort of property damage have you been seeing across the country? Um, we had entire neighborhoods that were completely destroyed. Um, we have a levee in our South County that was damaged um, that actually caused an RV park of about 30 residents to be completely isolated. Um, yesterday, we airlifted in ice um, for them so that they could cool their food and then we evacuated them today. Um, we still have a neighborhood up in our North County that is completely cut off due to um, road damage and we're coordinating a plan to provide them resources as well. Um, just a lot of infrastructure damage that we are still assessing and repairing. We still have quite a few areas that are still without power um, because the power company can't get to that area to make the repair because of all the damage. Right, you mentioned numerous evacuations because of some of the ongoing flooding as well as more in the forecast. So, you know, with these evacuations, where are you suggesting people to go? Obviously, this is not an issue that's isolated to this community. It's pretty widespread across the state. Uh, so where do you recommend people uh, take shield from some of these floodwaters? Mm -hmm. Well, during an emergency, we established shelters in partnership with the American Red Cross. So we put that information out through all of our media, our social media. We utilize our wireless emergency alerts to make sure that the public have that information. Ahead of time, we also encourage everyone to have a plan in place if you are directed to evacuate a friend or a family member that you can go to and stay with. Um, just to be proactive. Um, we're encouraging all our residents to look ahead. We're looking towards more storms this weekend. So we really want everyone to be prepared, to be ready to have your emergency supply kit and be ready to go if you're directed to. All good suggestions. Thanks so much for that. And we are definitely keeping you in our thoughts here at Fox Weather, Rachel Dion with the Emergency Services Coordinator for Thank San you. Luis Obisco County. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.